Other Hi, math? Dr. Robinson here with a math type and LaTeX lesson. I'm uh, going to show people how easy this truly is. And as students become more advanced uh, in their math, they really do need to learn this skill. Um, the reason why I'm doing a video right now is because Word has uh, advanced enough where there is even an easier command to enter a lot of the math code. Not all, so you still need to know it. Right now, I'm sitting on a uh, beautiful cheat sheet, LaTeX uh, math for undergrads. There are a lot of cheat sheets online, but the biggest thing I want you to note is uh, you just, it's a backslash that renders a command in order to do something. So if you want an angle, it's going to be backslash angle. Uh, if you want pi, it's going to be backslash pi, and so on. It's uh, just very, very easy. And this is just one of, like I said, so, so many cheat sheets. Anyway, I've got my video on my Braille display also, so for those who can actually read Braille upside down, you're going to see that this renders the math perfectly in Nemeth. I'm using a Focus 40. Uh, I have it on for display. And now let's go ahead and hit Word with math type. And I'm also going to hit Google Docs because so many schools are using Google and you need to know how to do LaTeX in uh, Google Docs also. Okay, so let me uh, alt tab. Math type dash on title one, document one dash word, document one. So the first thing you actually need to do is, oh, let me go ahead and just delete that uh, one number one. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is actually by math type, I need to go ahead and control home. Top, misspelled, math type left there. Yeah, make sure you have uh, your echo on both characters and words. If you uh, do not have the default, you can just quickly insert two to both characters and words. I'm going to alt tab to math type. Under grad math, math type dash untitled one. So the first thing you need to do is buy this. This is not what we're going to be using because it's not really accessible, but you do need to get it pinned to Word. That's quickly go into your preferences, alt P. Alt P, menu, preferences, menu, cut and W, even menus, workspace. And then going to just quickly do an alt K to allow text language entry from the keyboard. And that's it. Enter, math type dash untitled. That's pretty much all you're going to do with the actual program. And now I'm going to alt tab back to Word. Document one dash word to move to an item. And here I am. Uh, I went ahead and did all the formulas, otherwise this video would get way too long. So let's go ahead and down arrow listen to the first formula. Dollar C carrot two equals a carrot two plus D carrot two dollar. Okay. I will render that in just a moment. That is the math type. That is what you're using to type out, and I will show you in a second. But I want to show you the new uh, accessibility. This has always been in Word. It just has never really been accessible. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. One. Okay, I'm going to hit my end. End. Land. Now, it's alt equals. So any of the really, uh, the more simplistic commands, math type commands, it will work beautifully. So I'm going to do alt equals. Alt equals. And I'm going to type in C. C. And caret is to the power carrot. of. And then two. two. Equals. equals. Whoops. A. a to the carrot. Power of two. two. Plus. plus B. Carrot. Two. Okay, and yep, I'm trying to teach and do this at the same time, and I'm going to hit enter. Enter. And apparel. One, C squared equals a squared plus D squared. Don't we love that? Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the actual formula. Dollar C carrot two equals a carrot two plus D carrot. The way you're going to do this is you're going to select it, and you're going to do alt backslash, because it's the backslash that really gives... Uh, this math type in LaTeX all the power. So control shift down arrow to select. Dollar C carrot two equals it. I'm gonna hush them up. Alt backslash. Alt backslash. Ta -da! One C squared equals a squared plus D squared. Now I'm gonna tell you, and I'm down at the uh, alt equals right now, but I'll be math and base two. Okay. Now on my Braille display, and you do and need to get all the way to the very uh, end of it. So if you and I'll do that on the up above. And right now, it just reads flawlessly. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, we've got number one, we have C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Oh, we just love it. Okay, let's go ahead and up arrow. C squared equals a squared plus B squared. And my home command, which is one three space. Home, C squared equals a squared plus B squared math content. Okay, and once again, as you arrow through Land. this, and you already heard it, and you get to the end, and the Nemeth just reads beautifully. Which gives, of course, the, the child the option to move around. C squared equals a squared plus B squared. And change things as they need to. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and go down to the uh, next one. One. Land. 
dollar a backslash pi pair two dollar. So, uh, and you're going to immediately start getting this, and so you're going to know what's going to be rendered before I even get there. I'm going to go ahead and down arrow. And I'm going to go ahead Space. and do my alt equals. Alt equals. Okay, and we're going to do a capital A. a backslash because backslash pi pi we're going to do pi and then of course pi there is auto correct colon is two two oh i thought i turned off auto correct that should be off i might have to change that because that should not have done that enter okay and two a pi squared a pi squared that's exactly what i wanted dollar a backslash pi there is two dollar do turn off your auto correct that's all f to file t to options down to proofing all a to your auto correct and make sure all those auto correct are off uh so i'm gonna have to go into my math and and make sure that is off so i must have turned off everything else but that okay so i have up arrowed now to the math type that i had actually typed out and i'm going to select it and it always begins and ends with a dollar sign. I forgot to mention that. That is just the difference. That's it. Dollar sign, you start it and you end it, and you're going to get a beautiful math problem. Control shift down out of select. Dollar a backslash pi pair. Okay. Alt backslash. Alt backslash. Ta da! And it's just. Slag. A pi squared. Gorgeous. Two. A pi squared. Period. Space. Equation, comma, cap it. Okay, and I enter right into I square path content. And then this gives me the ability I to change and base. anything. Maybe I Two. don't want to. Maybe I want three. Three. Oh, 32. Oh, yeah. And superscript. How about that? <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, it changes beautifully on and the equation. display. Oh, my gosh. So gorgeous. But do make sure you get totally to the end. And super cap a period. Two. We'll just put. Oh, see, Two I graphics. my uh, graphic there. So, undo, 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 selected, a pi to the power okay. of 32, undo, undo. Okay, and let's go ahead and go down arrow to our next one. Two, lag, dollar y equals backslash right left brace x plus one right brace left. And I may not do all of them. All you just need to know is how to uh, do this out. I actually think I'm just going to render all of them because it is going to take too long. So let's go ahead and control shift down arrow. Dollar y equals backslash right left. Press them up, alt backslash. Alt backslash. And... These are uh, so gorgeous. So this is spatial, and once again, uh, as a blind person, if you didn't know how to graphically set these up with a, a pencil, you can do this all with a computer. So it's y equals, and it's x plus 1 over x minus 1. Now, this is too sophisticated for the alt backslash. Or excuse me, alt equals. Oh, I did type that wrong. Yeah, I cannot do with alt equals. That should say alt equals, not alt backslash. Uh, the all equals, which is the really easy editor in Word. So I've just kind of put that in there. Three. Cannot so, do with alt backslash. Nope. And that's all equals. That's my goof. And. Because once again. Backslash. Equals. Just a little too fast. Okay. All equals is the real easy. So anything, the easy math is going to be totally doable. Dollar backslash angle x back to home. Home. Let's go ahead and render all of these. Select it. Dollar backslash angle x. All backslash. All backslash. Love this. Angle x is uh, similar and congruent equal to angle y. Oh, we love that. Dollar y equals backslash sqrt left brace x dash two right brace home. Home. Here we go. Let's render this one. Dollar y equals backslash. All backslash. All backslash. And uh, so the all ever, oh my gosh, the square root, and of course the square root with the uh, line completely over the top of the problem, which is what the teachers want to see. Y equals the square root of x minus 2. So gorgeous. Uh, just uh, perfect. It's, this is the way it's written in all the books and everything else, and now we too can write these perfectly. Four. Dollar y equals back slash s home. Home. And control shift down arrow. Dollar y equals back slash s all backslash. All backslash. And y equals, and of course, 3 square root, uh, 3 over square root of 8. Um, so I think you're getting the idea. Now I'm going to move this Enter. one down Enter. a little bit. And that one, of course, does not work with, I have no idea why I put all backslash in here, because I'm confusing those two. So ignore those notes. So the big Land. one is, let's go ahead and do number 6. six. Space. And this is uh, basic math. So we're talking about elementary, and this is so easy for the elementary kids to learn. So all equals. All equals. Let's just do a one, one slash half two, uh, plus, plus oh, how about three, three slash quarters four equals, equals, equals space one, one and one slash one four quarter and enter. enter and up arrow. And this is the big one for our younger kids. Period. Space. Equation, comma, one half plus three fourths equals one comma one fourth math content. Oh, isn't that just so cool? 
So uh, the TVIs, the Teachers of the Blind, or whomever, can actually write out the problems. The kids can enter in the problem and then they can uh, type it out correctly, just like every other kid, but the other kids are using paper and pencil. Our kids get to use the computer. And of course, it's rendered flawlessly. Not yet, because I have to end, end equation. As soon as I hit my end, because it's IMG, that's what it says, image, when you enter it, but you hit your end, and then of course, the um, braille is just flawless. Those of you can read upside down. I'll just show that to you. Actually, I can turn it around. And you can just see how gorgeous, oh my gosh, that is on the braille display. Just something to behold. Um, and what's also nice, if you add the um, six into the equation, it'll also put the termination indicator in there before the period. So you can teach the kids the termination indicator or the punctuation indicator. Yep, I'm old school. I've been doing this for a long time. That's what we used to call it all the time. So uh, it's fantastic for the basic math also. Okay, oh, let me do subscript down here. Land, land five, dollar six. Dollar A underline three dollar. Okay, and you can select it backwards, so I'm just going to control shift up arrow. Dollar A underline three dollars. I'm gonna render it all backslash. All backslash. And we've got capital A subscript three. Six. A sub three. Don't we love that? Okay. Seven. Oh, excuse me. Dollar left parent R parent to right parent dash greater dollar. Okay, so A uh, R right now, those who are math minds are already thinking, oh okay, that's R to the power of two right arrow. Let's do it. Dollar left parent R parent to right. And all backslash. All backslash. And double. Eight. Dollar backslash so right nine. Dollar back. Dollar backslash. Ooh, misspelled. Yes. Maxwell left brace late extra. So many things. Dollar backslash uh, nine. Does not dollar backslash right. Let's render the last two. And oh. home. Control shift. Dollar backslash right left brace. And let's go ahead and do all backslash. All backslash. Now these are nests, which is really tough. One half over two. Yes. We can do that. Nine. The dollar backslash misspelled maths left raise late access fun right home. Okay. Last but not least. Dollar backslash misspelled. And yeah, ignore the misspelled. All backslash. And latex is fun. So uh, dollar backslash misspelled. Yeah, that's actually how you just type out words. Okay, those beautiful braces. Okay, so that's how you do it in Word. Kids can uh, really pick this up very very quickly. It's it's not difficult at all. It's just new. It's a different type of concept. Backslash to do it? Yeah, you're writing out the code, and of course, it's rendered perfect Nemeth code on the Braille display, so the kids are learning that also. Okay, now let's connect it in with Google Docs uh, because kids are working in Google. Matt type dash on title one. Undergrad dollar dollar latex and docs dollar dollar. Okay, the only difference in uh, Google Docs is you just have to use another dollar sign. It's dollar sign, dollar sign, frac. Uh, for fraction and then two plus three and they're in braces the braces are telling you how you want this to look now I've already done a huge sequence once again trying to time save time here uh, dollar dollar backslash right left brace two plus three right brace left brace three dash y right I'm gonna have it quickly read what's very nice uh, about Google Docs is you can render the whole page at once you really don't want to render it once, one at a time, because this part is not that handy. So you need to go ahead and go to your add-in. I'm in Chrome. I'm all in. Okay. Menu. Add add-ons. Seven of nine. To move through. You need to go down to your get add-ons, and you need to get math type, just like you did for Word. Once you have gotten this, you're going to down arrow. Auto dash LaTeX equation sub menu two of seven. And you're going to auto text the LaTeX uh, equation or LaTeX as other people will say. You're going to start one of two. And you're going to start. Now, what happens when you hit start is you have a separate navigation pane open to the right. You need to be aware of that because you're going to have to actually shift tab and close that in order to get back to your page. So he's going to be gabbing a lot as I get in there, and then I'm going to tab to render it. It's going to take a few seconds as it renders the whole page, and it will render the whole page in beautiful spatial math as it should look. Once again, I just went ahead and typed all of these out. It was just what you listen to in Docs. Let's go ahead and hit enter and start. Enter. Leaving menus. Frame. Document. Content. Edit. Type in text. Auto dash latex equations region. Frame. Dollar dollar latex and docs. Dollar dollar dash Google docs. Dollar dollar latex and docs. Dollar dollar. And he's just going to repeat that. So that separate pane is opened. I'm going to tab in. Typically, it's about seven or eight until you get to render equation. 
Uh, and what's also nice is, let's say you need to go back and you need to work on the equation, you can actually go to de-render it and you can change them back, you can go ahead and adjust them and then you can render them again into that perfect math. Okay, let's go ahead and tab to render. Main region, frame, frame, combo box, automatic to change, show advanced settings link, oh, yeah. so, combo automatic. box, automatic to change the selection. You can change them for inline, which comes out really small. You can change them to 12 or 24. I'm just going to keep it automatic. Show advanced settings link, render equations button to activate, press enter. Yeah, now what's hilarious is that only took me three times, but when I after I hit enter on the render and I have to close it, it's going to take me eight times to shift tab. Anyway, let's hit enter unless it's changed from yesterday. Enter, auto patch latex equations frame. Wait for it. Okay, and don't you love all that JAWS feedback? So I am using JAWS 2021 and the newest January update, um, and I've also noticed a few hiccups with it. So I would just highly suggest to sit and wait if your JAWS is not giving you that immediate feedback, and then you can go ahead and shift tab to your close button. Show advanced combo box, close sidebar button to oh, activate press space bar. <laughs> okay, this has totally changed since yesterday. Uh, that's cool, because yesterday it was eight times to shift tab. Uh, anyway, hit spacebar. Space, space frame, document read only application control, document content edit, type and text. Okay, and then you can listen. Nope, I guess you can't. Land. Okay, so now my JAWS is really having a fit. Uh, NVDA also works, so, uh, and I've also noticed when I'm video recording, my JAWS has issues. So uh, it did not have issues when I was not video recording this. But visually, this is set up. It is beautiful. It is perfect. You've got all your nests. Every problem that I just rendered in Word, it is perfect in here also. Uh, they are visual images, though, so just make sure your math is correct and you're good to go. And that's how easy math type and LaTeX is for our students. Hope this helped, and uh, see you back for the next lesson.